Hello everybody and welcome to another Honkai Star Rail video. Today we are going to be doing the Pure Fiction game mode. That's right. It reset. Isn't that so nice? Look at our good buddy, Argenti. You know what it is. Uh, let's see what this is all about. Hopefully it's not all about Dot. Wait, are all of them about Dot? Okay. Ending soon. Oh, this, that must be the old one. Okay, yeah, this is the old one. I still haven't gotten the last star. I could probably do it. Probably do it, but I'm not going to do that on this recording. This recording is for this one, the new one. Um, Let's look at some of the new light cones. There are one, two, three, four, five, six, seven new light cones in the game right now uh actually let's have another video where we look at that yeah i mean like we obviously should i mean that seems pretty obvious let's not look at those other light cones and let's just get into it let's let's go number one increase dot taken by enemy targets by 50 percent enemy targets will receive dot have their damage dealt reduced by 35 percent after they are attacked their action is advanced forward by 35 okay that's neat when an enemy takes when an enemy takes a dot, the ally with the lowest HP percentage will heal for 10% of their max HP and next will be advanced forward. When an enemy takes dot, addition targets always also takes dot. Okay. Uh, when allies attack enemies, inflict wind shear to the target, causing the target to take a set amount of wind dot at the start of every turn. Okay. So this is the one if you don't have dot characters. You probably almost have to do it. We'll see. We'll see. I'm gonna put that on both of my characters so far. I mean, I know that these two are going to apply dots. Uh, these are going to be my double DPS, and I'm probably going to go for a Ruan Mei here. Uh, and as for my healer, I guess it doesn't really matter. I can go for a Fushuan. Uh, in this one, I want to go Jingyuan for sure, and then a Tingyun probably. And then let's go a Bronya just to give Jingyuan even more turns. And then, yeah, we go for Luocha. So hopefully he won't have to use up any of our skill points because we're definitely going to need to keep those tight. All right, let's enter the story. Can we take dubs? Can we three-star this bad boy? This will be kind of embarrassing considering it's level 55. We should be able to do this. Almost no issue. Right, this should be no problem for us. Okay. All will be swept away by the wind. Oh my god, he took like no damage. Savor it for me. Oh brother. You won't get away. Oh my god. Oh my god. Himiko <laughs> just smurfed. Himiko just destroyed them, and she's about to do it again. Oh my god, here we go. That is crazy. That is crazy. Himiko is smurfing.
But yeah, I guess, I mean, are the waves just going to keep coming? So I just keep getting infinite points until uh, all the turns are over. I forget. Is that how it works? I think that's how I think that's how it works. That makes sense. That makes sense. This water, this jug right here, it's almost like bigger than my head. The water in it is so cold. I fill it to the top with crushed ice. Basically little mini tiny ice cubes, the really good ones that you get at places. And then I just fill it with water, and this thing keeps all that shit cold for eons. Alright. Let's wait. Let's wait. Let's not wait. Let's get to clapping right off the bat. Oh, sorry guys, I'm uh, I'm talking to my friends about, you know, life. You know, in similar ways to the uh, simulated universe VODs, I feel like I can talk to you guys about this stuff, right? I can talk to you guys, right? Um, so we got into Baldur's Gate, and as you guys can see, um, you know, from my streams, we're doing a four-person co-op playthrough, me and all my best friends. It's awesome. We're having a fun time. I'm actually getting like, I'm, I'm like super addicted to the game. Problem. Tomorrow is my seventh consecutive day working my job where I work 10 hour days. It's been like, it's just been so hard for me, man. Like, and I, I want to stay consistent with YouTube. Like with the channel, I want to keep making this content. Obviously this is new, so I really want to play this too. But like when I'm at work, I'm listening to Baldur's Gate 3 videos all day. It's like an addiction. It's crazy. Um and I just I just be having a lot of fun with it. Um It just spawns another wave, doesn't it? Okay, yeah, there we go. Um yeah, so I'm like having a lot of fun with it. Um I go to work, I listen to videos about the game all day. I, I get really excited to play it and really excited to start streaming and play it with the homies. I think that's a lot of fun. Um, my only issue is that for like, you know, the first time, like maybe once a year or more, uh, once a year, uh, Riot comes out with a new ADC and I've been maining that role for a long time and I've been a league addict. I've been a League of Legends enjoyer uh, for... But I mean, like how many years? So many. I mean, since pre-season three. So between season two and season three, 
that's a long time. Uh, so I really want to play the new character. I really want to play Baldur's Gate 3, and it's really just, it's kind of sad. Like, this is obviously not my friend's fault. My friend Matrana, uh, the one I'm doing, the, the one I'm starting the podcast with, he has been off. Like, we got on a Baldur's Gate kick, right? On night one of me working seven days in a row. So I have to go out every day and work this job where I work seven days in a row. Him, he has had, he, he is going on his like sixth off day of play. Yeah, like we started playing on Wednesday, right? And me, I worked Wednesday, Thursday, Friday, Saturday, Sunday, Monday. Is that not crazy? And then Tuesday. No, okay, no, then we started on Thursday. Thursday, Friday, Saturday, Sunday, Monday, Tuesday. I don't know, I was right. We started on Wednesday. So they get the game on Wednesday night. I'm like, okay, I'll get the game. I come home, I'm way too tired. Uh, I get the game the next night, Thursday night, right? Now I have the game. We don't know what we want to do. Uh, we start, we, we decide to start a playthrough. So the next night the playthrough starts. That's why we're on episode three out so far. Right, because I've been, I haven't record, I haven't not recorded anything, um, so I'm pretty sure that's the timeline, right? Um, so though I'm just, I'm just permanently working, while I'm like, you know, having a lot of fun and wanting to be really invested in this thing, and I'm just permanently working. Oh, life is a hellscape, man. It's just so miserable. Like, I, I'm just being. I'm just being straight up, it's miserable. Uh, while I, I get to like look in on my friend, who's it's like uh, when when Squidward is looking out the window at Patrick and SpongeBob having all that fun, and he just knows that like he's just miserable. You know, that's me. I'm Squidward. We can get closer because Nick was off Wednesday, obviously, because they win. played the game. Thursday, played the game. Friday, they played the game. He worked with me Saturday and Sunday. That was cool. And he's off Monday, today, so he's playing the game. He's off tomorrow, he'll be playing the game. Bro! When do, when do I get to play the game? And then I, I obviously, like, New Penicone comes out. I want to play that. New League Champ comes out in my main role. And he's super fucking fun to play. So I want to play that. Like, I just have... I have all these things that I, I'm having a lot of fun with when I do get to interact with. And I want to keep playing. And I want to, like, do. And just chill. And take a load off. And make content for YouTube like I'm doing right now. And I just feel like I have no time for anything. So I've been staying up till 4 a.m. almost every night trying to get any like, trying to just like scratch and claw for every little second of freedom I can possibly give myself without permanently crippling, crippling myself the next day in terms of like, you know, Having to go to my job and work it for 10 hours a day. And it's just like getting so bad. It's like tonight I decided like, I just felt so bad today. I've been getting headaches past two days and I don't get headaches, guys. I don't get headaches. I almost never get headaches. You know if I'm, you know if I'm experiencing a headache, I'm in the shitter. I, I am not having a good time at all. Um... So I'm getting like headaches and stuff and it's just it is just painful it is agonizing because I'm not sleeping well or a lot definitely not enough and so I'm going to work and I'm miserable all day, and it's just it's just awful and I just want to break the cycle tonight I just want to like suck it up I get like an I'm giving myself an hour to record some Honkai Star Rail stuff for the channel and then I'm going to stream Baldur's Gate for like an hour for the channel. And then I'm going to play some League for like an hour. 
and then I am forcing myself to go to bed. I will be in bed, eyes closing before one. That is my goal. Because I just need sleep, guys. I need, I need like a nice, a, at least one night, a full reset night of like eight to nine hours of sleep. Sorry about, you know, putting a, you know, a, a rant about real life randomly in the middle of your, uh, of your fun Honkai Star Rail content. But that's just, like, what it is. Like, I can't stop. I have to, I have to do that until I can do this. And however long that takes is however long it takes. Obviously, I ain't stopping. I'm only doing more. I, I want to be on uh, Tectone's Gotcha Cast because I have a lot to talk about when it comes to Honky Tonky. I could ramble for years. Uh, not that I am going to do that because, you know. You had a guest that did that? I'm not talking about that, but I just mean like... I just want to chat with a bunch of cool dudes about a game that I don't usually get to chat with a bunch of cool dudes about. Does that make any sense? Like almost nobody I know plays Honkai Star Rail. Definitely not in my personal life. Nick played it a little bit. I don't really have people to talk about with this kind of thing, except for like YouTube comments. No cap, YouTube comments are like some of my, that's like my happy place when it comes to Honkai. It's like I can actually like talk to my comments about the game and I think it's really fun. That's why I like the character, um, that's why I like when videos pop off because I just like wake up, I get like a bunch of comments on the videos and I'm like, holy shit, friends. That's crazy. That's awesome. Yes, it's 
desire to control the heavens, an unknown exception. We're kind of smurfing on this. I don't really know what to talk about, guys. I mean, not much is going on. We're about to hit 80k. There we go. Good job. Good job, me. I'm a freak. I'm a freakazoid. But, oh my god, so many rewards. Bro, I love this game. Can we talk about that? Think about how many rewards I'm getting from this. We all are as a, as a player base from this shit. And then combine, I think I'm going to get double harmony because I don't have a, I don't really have a physical character. I just try to avoid that. Like, I just, I, I wish I had Argenti really badly. I think missing out on Argenti, especially when I'm, I'm an Iridition enjoyer. It was a bad idea, but I don't know. Um, let's go for Jingyuan here. And then do we, we can go Dr. Ratio, screw it. I mean, let's see how we get, how he does. Um, my kitty's coming to see me. You know what? I'm going to show you guys my cat. <laughs> Coolest. Show your courage. Let's wait. I'll be right back. If you have this on in the background, now would be a great time to put it on your foreground cuz I'm getting a cat. Look at that. Look at that. Look at that. Is that not awesome? Is that not totally dank? And now my cat is on my deck. Holy shit. I don't really look at my, my keyboard that often. But like it's kind of giving me a, Nothing major. making me feel some kind of way whenever I put the camera on it. You know, start season, bro. I'm gonna start season. Hey. Oh, this is awesome! Look at that. Oh, there she goes. Y'all saw my cat. How are we doing? Ooh. Only two turns left. We might have to make it up with the next round. I don't know how well we're doing here. Doesn't seem to be too well. Huge. So I actually should have gone Fushuan in this team and Luocha in the next team because the next uh, battle actually has Imaginary in it. So he's going to be a lot more useful in that battle than this battle. And Fushuan would actually be more useful in this battle because of her synergies with Blade just straight up giving him more damage by giving him more HP. So if we are a little below the mark in here, which I'm kind of expecting when Pure Fiction does this whole a uh, dot thing, which is really, really just dumb in my opinion whenever only two characters are in the game 
really like heavily 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 support it like if you don't have black swan or kafka you're basically doing this pure fiction with four stars right exclusively four stars and none of the five stars that really just bring the dot teams uh you know the greatness All right, that's about that's gonna be the only damage we get here. Okay, we can do forty k in the next one, right? We can do that. We can do that. He's so cool. He just drove on in. We're going less crazy than I thought. This isn't what I wanted to see. I guess that's what I get for bringing Dr. Ratio into this. Why specifically that character? Like, why the fish? Is there a reason for that? Okay. That's a yikes. That is a yikes for sure. We go next, though. Remember, improving is for the next round. Here, we are just... I win with it. Oh, finally, some ice. Thank you. I can get Jingyuan up here. I'm happy with that. And then bring in Jing Liu and Himiko. And honestly, this should probably go really well now. Uh, I could go for the for the Pela instead of Himiko. I think Himiko because of the dot. I, mean, I think that's just pretty obvious. So. Yeah, I'm going to have to experiment with a few things clearly to get to where I want to be. But, hey. We can get closer. I commend. We can get closer. Let's wait. That's what I'm that's what I'm basically saying, man. We can get closer. We'll do what we need to do. We'll do that off the VOD. It's just the first clear on the VOD. Just to see how my characters stack up. Remember, I know I could be controlling them. Uh, you know. I know I could be actually controlling them. And having much better times. And I say that on MOC too. But I think it's just really fun. To... 
Build strong team comps. Build strong characters. Farm for gear. And then let the kind of characters just show how powerful they themselves are. That honestly kind of sounds roleplay -y. I could definitely get that. But, hey, eh, It is what it is. Hey, free my boy Blade! Free my boy Blade! Thank you, thank you. Wait, what was- Hey, yo! On him? Are we serious? Okay, never mind, never mind. Maybe she was smurfing, maybe she was smurfing. You ain't getting away, buddy. You ain't getting away, little strutter. You're done. All your friends? Done. You done. Uh, we're doing okay, but definitely not good enough. That solo ult was troll as hell. Oh no. Unless they make Blade go, he's not gonna go anymore. Yeah. Wow. Okay. And now we fight the final boss. This will go well. I actually like this a lot though. I like this comp a lot more. Fire and ice, baby. Who are we targeting here? Whatever. Oh boy, he's gonna talent again. Yep. Oh my god, the damage. I think we could actually 60 this. I think we could. Uh, I think we could actually 40k this and get the get to 60k. That is kind of painful how long it took us, but that was only one round, right? We're like, we're on round three, we get four rounds to play. So overall, we should definitely be smurfing this. 
That is so huge. 154,000 is so funny. Alright, she's about to make Kimiko follow up again. Okay, immediately stacked up. Oh, here we go. Let's go. Right, can we not use something absolutely massive? Yeah, yeah, she's gets an auto. Let's go! Holy shit, we're so big! Let's go! Oh my god! She is a freak. She's a freakazoid. Oh my god, and they break each other? That's awesome. Holy. Oh, that's awesome. We're really close. Really close. I think this breaks him. Yes! Hey, and then she re-breaks him. Well, we definitely don't win this. But I think we get 50k. Hey, we got 50k. Actually better than the what we than what we got last round. I think our Gen T is one of the coolest characters in the game. Training cycle zero. That's unfortunate. Hey. Winners. You know. It's okay. It's okay. Hey. We do the best. We didn't do the worst. And this is still a lot of free rewards. Okay. Well, we miss out on three stars. Okay. What do you think I'm... I think I'm really that sweaty for three stars, guys. Come on. <laughs> it's fine. It's okay. It's okay that we didn't get it. Oh, God. It's, it's fine. Come on. Come on, guys. It's fine, right? Alright. How much stuff do we be having? Well. 12 more Okay. We just got 12 more pulls. We have 139 pulls. That's awesome. 139 pulls towards whatever we want. And we have over 40 pity. On the banner, too. We have like 45 pity. It's crazy. We're already halfway to getting one of the 50-50s triggered. We will get Sparkle. I, I I literally can't not get Sparkle at this point. Now, if I just if I decide to get Dunhung IL and Sparkle, then, you know, that's a different story. I'd have to win 50-50s. But I could get both of them very easily if I just won the 50-50 twice. Right. Plus, we're going to get a lot of gems in this uh, this here. I haven't, you know, obviously claimed all of my free 10 pulls yet. I claimed one of the free 10 pulls, and then I claimed one of the 10 pull that we get spread over a week. Uh, yeah. Anyway, that's all. Thank you all for watching. Have a wonderful day. If you like the video, like the video. If you dislike it, dislike it. I'm not going to waste any more of your time. Comment below how you did on Pure Fiction. Did you complete it, and what characters did you use? What's your favorite character in the game, by the way? I just want to know. I'm just curious. Comment that. Comment that. Yeah. Subscribe. Peace.